In terms of the Greeks, do you know what the oldest works of Aristotle and Plato, you know what language they're in? Uh, you're probably closer to Semitic languages, yeah. Arabic. Arabic. I, this is a bit insulting, but it almost seems like you using that yes. and the real dichotomy when you see the world. Yes. I mean, if we look at the Arab countries, not Arab countries, sorry, any Muslim country, yeah. it's actually dominated by Western science. Oh, and you oh, say I about see. making Saudi. Oh, I see. No, oh, no, 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 I'm not even making that point, okay. by the way. The uh, oldest you, works, you the yeah. oldest works that Oxford and, and universities like that have translated, literally, yeah. verbatim, were from Arabic works. And what stops you from accepting Islam, Neil? Oh, on there now. Yes, that's the important. Um, I, that's the that's the fundamental. You're under dawa. I know you're you're what, you've got what, you've got what, things that you Neil, say. Neil. And then all of a sudden, what, what is I'll it? Shave what, what? <laughs> No, 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 just hold on, hold on. So let, so let me just finish my point. You had the three sects. Uh, you can correct me on the terminology, but parts of Islam, one was scientific, one was purely spiritual, and then the other one was a combination of the two. Two of them got taken away and it turned, after the Islamic Golden Age, into a purely spiritual being. So your introduction there about the Greeks, I mean, it's 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 disingenuous. It's your it's yours, by the way. That's not that's not something I can critique. That can't I? But in, in what and then, sense is it and then I just described it. I just said that you got rid yeah. of the two parts of the, the big sect. One was the part of the Islamic Golden Age. One mixed spirituality and uh, the sciences, and one was purely spiritual. And you got rid of two, and you left the one. I, I'm not going to repeat that again. Yeah. No, but the, but the, point, the point I'm trying to make to you is that I, I, even if I, let's say, because it, it's, that's, a, that's a very polarizing black and white way of, of, of looking at the No, issue. it isn't. I'll tell you why it is. I think it's beautiful. I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you why it is. Because you never had an, 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 an entirety of the Muslims believing in any one thing. That's the first thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. absolutely. So you had certain movements. Except for that schism. But so yeah. you had certain movements that were stronger at one time and perhaps absolutely. weaker at another time. Absolutely. In terms of the Greeks, do you know what the old oldest works of Aristotle and Plato, you know what language they're in? Uh, you're probably closer to Semitic languages, yeah. Arabic. Arabic. Ancient, no, 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 it'll be, it'll be obvious the Semitic group. They don't agree. They're, sorry, they don't, they don't exist anymore. So the original Greek, the original words of Aristotle and Plato, those works don't exist anymore. Okay. So we have the oldest... So language has so changed. Uh, no, no, what that means is that as the bastion, as the, as the baton rather, of knowledge is exchanged throughout Absolutely, history, yeah. different groups will build upon the shoulders of others, Absolutely. of giants uh, of others. Yeah, Isaac yeah. Newton said the very right. same thing. So we he, said, he said, I've only gone on those giants right. of others. So, Absolutely. We so we don't say Islam or Muslims were the ones who came up with all of philosophy. I'm not saying and, that. No, I'm just, I'm just I'm giving you... I'm not saying you, that at all. What we're saying is that... You're not answering my question. But the question that... I'm, the, the, the thing that I'm trying to address... You're not answering one second. So, so, so what you're saying is that... Islam has not picked up that tradition in from, so from, very long from the, time. From the Greek. I, this is a bit insulting, but it almost seems like you using that yes. and the real dichotomy when you see the world. Yes. I mean, if we look at the Arab countries, not Arab countries, sorry, any Muslim country, yeah. it's actually dominated by Western science. Oh, and you oh, say I about see. making Saudi. Oh, I see. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not even making that point, okay. by the way. Okay. But your your point about the schism in Islam is false. Okay. Like, you're, sorry, you're not even making the point. You're not even answered the idea that you left that scientific uh, tradition. Okay, so that's your argument that actually. You've not answered it though. No, no, okay, well. Where, where is it being picked up? I see, I see like some guys who. No, but you made a who, point. You, you, no, 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 no. You spoke for a while before. I'll carry on. Right. right, so, and then I see a lot of rhetorics coming yeah. from. Yeah. And I think fantastic. I think yeah. that's something that comes from secular society, yeah. from Muslims that grow up in secular yeah. society. And you get very good at defending yes. Islam and doing okay. dawah and all of these so things. I, I, so but when you go yeah. to fundamental, like, uh, you know, Pakistan, obviously Saudi Arabia, where you have some form of Sharia there, yes. you do not have the scientific. Oh, I see what you mean. Is that, that is you that, have. Oh, I no, I said mean. that there was a schism in Islam okay. and it was dropped. So I'll tell you why. You're still not answering my question. I'll why? I'll tell, I'll, why, do okay, you take, excellent, excellent. why do you take the history excellent, excellent. and then not apply it to the present? E excellent. It's a very, actually, it, it is a good question, actually. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> You've not answered it. So there's two, point, there's two points to that question. Number one is did the influence of science and technology uh, ever cease 
and was somehow reinvented or reintroduced in the Western world? No, of course not. Or was it heavily influenced, in fact, by the uh, golden age of Islam? Absolutely right. was. Okay. Now, the question, real question is that why did that end? Why, why has that diminished? Why is that somehow gone? Yes. And the answer actually is in... Western. <laughs> Western expansion. Yeah, okay. Yes. I can see that. And if you look at, for example, the words of Curzon in the House of Parliament mm -hmm. in the early uh, 1900s, he says something very interesting after the Ottoman Empire collapses. Mm -hmm. We should never let them arise again. <laughs> yeah. Their establishments of education, we should destroy them. I so, that, so that these people never rise don't again. Don't like Ataturk, do right. we? <laughs> now, now, do we see that manifested in the actions of the Western empires right. and the colonial empires? What I'm saying. No, 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 let me just please. please, please. Sorry, carry on, carry on, carry on. Do we see evidence of that expansion into the Middle East and Asia where their educational establishments are dismantled? Yeah and destroyed, their scholarship is diminished and destroyed. I don't know about that. Uh, well, no, communism well, did a lot uh, of well, that in China. Well, well, like, you, 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 you said black and I'll white before, you, and now you've just no, covered the no, whole world no, 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 in either the West I'll give you, or the Arab I'll give you actual world. examples. That's a bit cheap. So if I you think you're for billions example, of people, you're undermining If that. you look at, for example, India, right, where my parents come from, mm -hmm. I England ruled for over 300 years. You still use the same rule right? of law. It's not yeah. all bad, so, is it? No, no. So, just because something is in continuation doesn't make it good or bad. That's a, yeah, absolutely. Right? But it doesn't make it bad. No, no, no. I'm not saying that it is necessarily all bad or it's all good. But I'm, your argument was that it's it can't be that bad if they're still doing it, right? My point to you is that just because no, something I'm is... No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, well, let, let's go back to your original point in terms of why is it finished? <laughs> no, no, can why I... Can I, can I, Because I understand your... No, but no, I, no, no, let me just try and understand your rather, point. Your I, point is like but a, a semi-imperialism... I understand, but to have a fruitful discussion, let's not move on to too many points. My point, no, 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 my, I'm, my, I'm my point to you, point. My point to you is that... So in India, for example, some of the things that were orchestrated to ensure British control were that they divided the people. Mm -hmm. This schism of Hinduism and Sikhism and mm -hmm. Islam didn't exist yes, historically it did. to the extent... Yes, it did. To the extent... Yes, it did. To the extent... Oh, don't. Look, please. Come on. To the extent that... There, so, was, there were separate I, kingdoms. I'll give you... Uh, yes, yes, they were separate kingdoms. And they were kingdoms. all at warring, and um, the Sharia law wanted to take over all. I'm not, I'm well, not, I'm okay. not saying Sharia is... Look, look, I've been to a country where they so, have Sharia. I don't... Want to, let me, let me no, just no, explain no. to you what actually took place, yes? No, no, no. We're, going, so, we're delving into history. We're getting away from the point. No, no, no. But it's very... Or Indian, you're going to bring up Indian history. No, no, but it's very to relevant. Me. But it's very and relevant. No matter how long I stay in this no, no, sun, it, I, I can't it, develop a tan anyway. So it's very relevant. It's very relevant. It's very relevant. Because even you're, if you're, you're boiling it down, we're not talking about the idea that when you go to the Middle East, yeah. but you have to let you me speak. Know, well, you, no, right? You have to let me speak. Yeah. You're talking so no, much. You let me respond. But if you ask me, if you ask me a question, if you ask me a question, no, it requires an element of elaboration. You were talking about for about five minutes. But but your question could be a one line. No, no. But it may require five minutes. It may require Asia, five minutes. education. Yeah, but you, you haven't went even over allowed, multiple you, but you things. haven't even allowed me to finish the Indian point. Carry on the world tour. Okay. okay. So they deliberately divided the Hindu Stretching. and the Muslim and the Sikh yes. by opening different schools. Yeah. They, they were no longer, yeah. right? And the caste system and what have you. What that left is a legacy of disruption that we even see to today. If you look at the borders that were carved up in the Middle East, the Iraqi borders, the Iranian borders, the the different borders that, that were implemented. Mm -hmm. We see disruption and, and, and problems existing, existing till today. Yeah. If we have democratic leaders that are not Western sympath sympathizers. What about China? Like Imran Khan, for example. Oh, what, yeah, yeah. What do we do? We get rid of them. <laughs> Right? We get rid of them. So if the people are good for their people, their educational development, their cultural development, their financial development, if it's at a cost to us okay. in the West, we get rid of them. Okay, can I just... So all of these factors... You're going on, All right. of these factors have a huge impact yeah. on... Uh, all on, of them, yeah. On all of these things, right? All right, so I'm going to... Now I have the responsibility to break down all of that, which is valid, by the way. Like, I'm personally... I'm I'm not an imperialist, that's for sure, right? I think 1%, only 50% of the country is not yeah. particularly valid. Right, but when we're talking about, so am I, I'm parched. Uh, the water. Please, uh, if that's okay. Bottle for the Do you want to move into the shade as well? Yeah, okay. No, I'm, I'm fat. There, there <laughs> that's the main reason why I'm stuck. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank yeah, so you. Thank you. Um, What's that? Okay, so, when we, so you went over the history of the, the education. 
Right, first and foremost, the idea that um, it's the West that has kept the Islamic Golden Age from ending because of Western expansion of schools. There's about 600 years difference between the end of the Islamic Age and then obviously Western imperialism. So this idea that the West is responsible for the education system, which has not made a revival of this, this Greek tradition, I think is, is, is a, an argument that ta- in terms of timeline does not add up. You had complete Sharia law in many, many places. When did the golden did age not was, see when, when did the a resurgence age, of the Greeks. By the, the way, I wanted to talk about Tolstoy. When, when did the, I wanted to talk when, about Tolstoy, when, when, when not this. The, when did the golden age end in Spain, in Andalusia? Oh yeah, okay, that's a really good point. So the Crusaders come in. Yes. It's when they met the West though. The Crusaders come in. They push the Muslims back into North Africa. I don't want to do a world tour. But it's important. Because that's no, I want to speak logically. No, 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 no. But, that's but a, in terms of time, look, if it's you very destroy, disingenuous. If you destroy the hundreds of, of educational establishments in Andalus, okay. you burn the books that were piled up high, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, and those books were burned. Conquistadors right? and all the exactly. rest everywhere. To and then yeah, if yeah. you ask me in the same breath, <laughs> where is the Islamic uh, science, uh, you know, uh, progression of science well, that's, that's in the Islamic here. world? But that's a frontier. No, no. What about Saudi Arabia? No, no. What about Pakistan? So where does Saudi Arabia... Where is it? Where does that all come Where from? is the Greeks? Where, Where are the Greeks there? Where okay. have they ever okay. been? Not, not, this this idea the, of Islam look, against imperialism you, you, is, is... What's your name, sorry, brother? What's your name? Neil. Neil, Neil. Abbas. Nice, to, yeah? meet you, nice okay. to meet you. Neil, you know what it is? We've got You're to still be, not answering my point. We, I, have, I think I've answered it very well, but, but, but Neil, the point I'm trying it's to... 500 make, year gap. Neil, Neil the point... point oh. Look, you talk about 500 year gap. Mm-hmm. If you look at the works of, for example, there's a documentary, documentary done by Khalili, Jin Khalili, about the science uh, uh, of Islam yeah. and how much it's influenced the Western uh, scientific... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, right? Uh, if you, you, the, if you the, disagree with that... The oldest you, works, you know. the yeah. oldest works at Oxford and, and University universities like that have translated literally yeah. verbatim or from Arabic works. So why did it stop? No, but I've given you the I've given the reason. No, I'm sorry. I've given you the reason. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you burn books in Spain, yes. but then the same books are present in many other countries no. that have been there, no. you should still have that tradition. No. The tradition is complete. Right, let's go back to the three sects but, of Islam. You, know, but, you no, kicked no, no, out no, no, the, the ones no, no, who liked no, no, Greeks. No, no, but you've just raised it the point there. It was kicked out. <laughs> Brother you kicked out. No, no, no. You kicked out the, 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 um, the Muslims, sorry, the Muslims yeah. who were all about the Greek tradition. They were kicked out of Islam and it was we followed a purely spiritual path. Neil. And then there's a 500 year difference where Neil. you co- co- qualicate the idea of imperialism yes. and this lost Islamic faith, and it's yeah. all imperialist fault. No, no, what I'm By the way, I, again, no, no. I'm an anti One of the things of science and technology is you need wealth. You have to have an affluent society to be able to uh, progress science, and you need stability. So, what happened for those 500 Brother, years? I'm, I'm, but I'm just talking. Sorry, go on, sorry. You need stability. Now, if yeah, you have if you have foreign powers mm-hmm. that are creating instability and yes there was instability within the Muslim empires because they were also in fighting oh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah right. of course like anyway what, what that does is that your priorities change now the priority is safety is shelter it's food the priorities of investing lots of money into educational establishments to produce works of science yeah. is in some ways a luxury yeah okay so when we study that, now the, 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 let's get to the crux of the matter. Yeah. The crux of the matter is that, and please correct me if you think I'm uh, just go, just misrepresenting go, just go ahead, you. Go ahead. That your argument really bases is based around more so that Islam somehow, or the Islamic uh, understanding of science and technology, was the reason why it stopped, rather than external factors. No, no I didn't say that. So do you think it's external factors that stopped it? No, 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 no. I don't think it's a simple either this or that. What is no, it? No, no, no. So quite simply, also it fundamentally happened. It was a conscious decision without war or anything that you got rid of the sects which studied the Greeks. No, but now what you're saying is that there's one homogenized group of Muslims all over the world who shared that view. The reality is that okay. there was st- that's not true. Right. What about, what about, what about, uh, let's just take, uh, what, I'm going to move on. But let's take one more example. If you go to Saudi Arabia now, you go to the universities, they study ancient Arabic, they study Arabic, they do study the uh, Arabic poetry, huge, not necessarily repli- replicated. And uh, we can make the argument about literature, which is why I was supposed to be here about Tolstoy, but what he says about Islam. It's, anyway, um, he made a story about Mujahideen, you know? Yes. You know the story? It's a fantastic story. It's about in Chechnya, it's really good. Right. Anyway, the idea is there's this undermining, and I know this seems really rich because obviously it's completely dominant, but 
that it seems as though a lot of Muslims now feel desperate when they get caught on science and technology and they have to undermine it through talking about what you have on that board there not about like Sir Isaac Newton saying on this shoulders why can't we obviously we can't do that but it would be great if we would you know, as an atheist one of the things that I find rather this un- will be the last one one of the, one of the things I find rather unusual and not, not with you necessarily but generally with this subject yeah we never talk about the Greeks and the legacy they left behind in that critical way. What we actually do is... Secondary school, we, there's critical we, education. We, we admire... You, you Shakespeare, which is based on admire, Greek tragedies. But no, Shakespeare is based on the Greek tragedy, okay. and they have to study we English admi- literature. But we admire... It's false. We admire... And it's everywhere. It's not just the individual. Neil, please, please, let me finish. We admire... Yes. And we rightly respect the works that were left behind. I think we should respect Right, that have influenced human societies till today, okay. and will probably continue to do so. I'm going to now, go. Now, let Islam, me just let can we agree? Now, but Neil, can is, we agree is, on one point? Islam, in the West, we should respect Islam, Islamic mathematicians we, more. What we should, but we shouldn't undermine no, the no. whole principle of knowledge. What we should do, what we should do, if we're fair, I tell you what we should do, is that rather than be overly critical of why it ended. We should celebrate the fact that 700 years, 800 years of whilst we in the West, and I call myself a Westerner simply because I was born oh, here, sorry. had our donkeys and our pigs residing in the same houses that we lived in, the Dark Ages, mm-hmm. okay, whilst the Muslims were, uh, you know, uh, curing TB tuberculosis mm-hmm. while Ibn Sena and the works the, the chronicle I think is it the chronicle the Al-Khwarizmi was used for 500 years in Europe as, a, as an authoritative book of science and technology and medicine the medicine books are still so, right okay. no, no, so, so which ones no no no, so no let me respond so I'll just which finish. one I'll which just, one I'll just no, no 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 which, I'll just, no, I'll just carry on talking about right so which one took on the knowledge and used it to go further yes and which one didn't the one that so for example for the example, other. The you one can that take about the to Islamic the other. world. <laughs> you see, you're boiling it down as a 500 year schism the, the, that the, you're just the, missing the, out. Right. When you I'm re- going to go. Neil. Please shake my hand if you want. Of course okay. I will. Right. Neil. No. no. <laughs> I've been but, here for about 20 minutes. Let's, let's move on from that subject, though. Do, do you let's yourself... move on and leave. Well, let's, Please, well, everybody wants to hear what's the talk. What is it that, what is it that stops you? As a mathematics you, teacher, I understand. What stops you from accepting Islam, Neil? We've gone there now. Yes, that's the important. Um, uh, that's the that's the fundamental. You're under question. dawa. I know you're you're what, you've got what, you've got what, things that you Neil, say. Neil, and then all of a sudden, what, what is I'll it? Shave what, what? So, uh, I'm going. Neil, Neil, before you go, nice to you, before, leave it, why are you running friend. away like this? Let's, I want to see the rest of Let's have a two or three minutes. Let's have a two or three minute discussion. Do you believe in God? Very ignorant. As a mathematician, do you believe in God, Neil? I want to talk about science and how Islam has science. I want to talk about science as well. I want to talk about science as well. Stop. Do you believe in God, Neil? Goes to Dawah. Come on. Goes to Dawah. Why are you Why are you scared of the Dawah, Neil? <laughs> you're a big man. You're, tw- you're like big twice my size. He's scared of the truth. Oh, all right. So we had a nice discussion with Neil there. Um, We've heard this argument mentioned many times before, which is that somehow the progression of Islam or Sharia law was the deciding factor where uh, most Muslims or Islamic countries, Muslim countries today, have actually transitioned away from science. Um, The reality is that's a very simplistic way of looking at it. Uh, Yes, of course, throughout history, you may find certain groups that were a bit anti-science or anti philosophy but as a whole uh, Islam doesn't have this schism this problem with science and with philosophy as the Christians have uh, we, you know, we don't have the pogroms where scientists are being uh, you know uh, burnt to the stake because they're saying things that are different from what the revelation might be saying Alhamdulillah Islam doesn't have this legacy it doesn't have this history uh, the two have clearly worked incredibly well together and from the ayah of the Quran or the verses in the Quran 
what Allah tells people to reflect, to think, to ponder. This is exactly what the people did. And they pondered and they thought about these things and they investigated these things. And great works over seven or eight hundred years of scientific works were, were, were created as a consequence. And I would say that much of that was influenced by people who were practicing Muslims, who believed in the Quran, and they saw the Quran as an encouragement to actually investigate and produce those great works. The reason perhaps that we find ourselves as Muslims in the situation that we are in today, a lot of that has to do with the turmoil, uh, the problems within Muslim countries today, much of it, most of it, if not all of it actually, is to do with the people who've moved away from Islam, moved away from the practices of Islam, where materialism uh, or, or secularism or, or sex and these things have become uh, more pronounced and problematic and as a consequence and we can't uh, and we should not diminish the importance of what the colonial powers did to dismantle the very educational establishments, universities, colleges, the works and how they were destroyed and how that yes has left a legacy and affluence and, and material gain is something that is very very important in order to increase your uh, your laboratories and your places of science now that does not mean to say that Muslims today are ignorant when it comes to science going to any university go into any hospital, go into any research establishment, and you will find Muslims, practicing Muslims, who are in those establishments and are doing much of the groundwork for much of the scientific advancements that we see today. Let's not forget that the Pfizer vaccine, for example, in recent times, were invented by a Turkish couple, both Muslims. Now, whether they are practicing or not, I don't know, but they are both Muslims. So Islam and Muslims are still producing great works in society, but it is true that they don't own the establishments, the coveted establishments that perhaps the Western world has today. But that does not mean to say that somehow Islam is the reason why science and technology perhaps to a greater extent left Muslim countries. And I hope that we sort of uh, made that uh, uh, clear. Uh, obviously, we wanted to move on to a more uh, meaty, a more sort of substantial subject, which is the very belief in God. But at that point, Brother Neil had some sort of wobbly knees and he sort of left the conversation rather quickly. Maybe we can follow that up in the future, inshallah. Asalaamu Alaikum. Brothers and sisters, if you like that video, then click on that link. We had a really good discussion with Greg. I think you'll really enjoy it.